welcome back to Let's Play Castlevania Portrait of Ruin. And yeah, I have this, but uh, unlike in uh, Symphony of the Night, there's a he stops before doing the next one, so it's not fast for to moonwalk yourself through the game. Call partner with down an A to have him, him stand on the spot, like that. Then I'm gonna push this here uh, and, uh, and change. And do this! Doesn't make any sense! It works! Raging fire! And then we take the character and we can do this! Uh, not that, not, not that, that, I mean... I mean, I mean this! That's actually a pretty cool attack. Just lots of damage! Uh, actually, fine, I've, lately, when I, uh... When I played this through with, uh... I tried this. Play this through. When I tried this uh, ROM, with, and I played a lot with Charlotte, I'm really not getting words out of my mouth because Charlotte really kicks ass in the end, and uh, I'm not kicking ass at all at the moment <laughs> because I'm playing with Charlotte. I'm not really that good with Charlotte. Come on, Jenna. Yeah, I'm not getting items. And these are uh, warp point. We can warp twice. We don't have anything warp to at the moment. So. This will show you the uh, where we can equip our items and stuff uh, like this. There's lots of stuff you can do. Equipping, uh, not that button. This button, like that, and uh, head. Headguard. There are different items for each character. Uh, I always forget which button does what. Well, we don't have much yet, but you get a lot of stuff in this game. A lot. As I said, I always forget which button does what. And they're different in the emulator than they are in the MDS. Oh, yeah. Something's here! Kill it! I don't like this music here. I like most of the music in this game and in Castlevania games so in general. But this music is. Oh, yeah, it got better, but still, it's, it's a little. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm going a little fast through them, but there's a lot of talking in this game. Yeah. The, this. There's, this game, I think, has more story of all the Castlevania games I've played. I like that there's more story uh, in these uh, Castleroid games, as I call them. Because when I played through Castlevania 4, that was one of my main problems with it. But it has no story. I liked the uh, Area of Sorrow because it had just the right amount of story and uh, gameplay and all that. I like blazed through that game because I really liked it. I can't get down a sorrow anywhere. It's like an okay music. It reminds me of Zelda, actually. It's okay. And the, the other um, Castlevania moves are very like a uh, techno fast thing, it is very slow compared to them. <laughs> yeah, what happened to his father anyway? I don't remember if it's been. Uh, I don't think it explained the all the way to where I played. No, they never talked about that. I got, as I told you, I got stuck. Once we get to that point, you, you're gonna have to explain how to get uh, ahead. But it's uh, pretty far. <laughs> this is starting to <laughs> get a hold of me, this music. Yeah, so. uh, did I take the quest or didn't I take the quest? Ready to start, press A. Like that! 
Yeah, this guy gives you these quests that you need to do, or you don't need to do them, but this one you need to do. And all of them give you cool sorts of stuff, like a um, whip uh, movements, uh, movements, what's it, what should I call them, whip, uh, you can do different sort of attacks with the whip. Unfortunately, there aren't that many good whips uh, that I got when I played. Because whip is my favorite weapon fight by far, and there are a couple of different whips in this game. But unfortunately, I always got weapons that were mu much more powerful than whip. But I like doing the different whip attacks. Hmm. Anyway, let's say, say the game, the Very like soothing melodies. There are a lot of cool ones too. I don't like these so soothing ones that much. Uh, what did he tell us to buy? A potion? Potion? I like to buy, uh, like, a million potions. <laughs> this one, I think this one, uh, tells you that you can buy no more than nine, or something. Or like in, uh, sim well, no, what? Uh, where the hell is the map, anyway? I haven't been getting any money, so... Do I have enough, yeah. Yeah. Quest complete. Um, where did I get out of here? Like this. Thank you. Um, I'm like in a harmony of dissonance where I had like a 30 potions, normal potions, and 20 high potions. <laughs> I haven't finished that game, but uh, yeah, it's not that hard game anyway. Excellent. Well done. Here, take this lizard tail. In, in many of the uh, Later games, uh, the Castle Road games, the, all the items are named the same. Like Lizard Tail and stuff like that. Fairy Book or whatever the hell it's called. Did I catch them? Get, get the Fairy Book thing yet? I think I got it. Well, it depends whether the enemies are. Yeah, I'm really blazing through these, so sorry. So they told us there are evil paintings where the enemy's power is held and did they tell us the enemy's name already? And yeah. Sorry about that. Whoa! Yeah, X armor. Yeah, I got it. Bang! Sang I want to slide. It's cool. Yeah, this is the first painting. Power is incredible. Yeah, <laughs> this is like freaking Metal Gear. Yeah, they actually don't. Yeah, Browner's the bad guy. The, the, he's taking over Dracula's castle. The Dracula's castle appeared without Dracula. I actually don't know the whole story because I had never finished the game. As you know, may have noticed, this whole video has been nothing but talking. What the hell is it? Is this Metal Gear? Metal Gear. We go into the painting and fight Metal Gear. Okay, let's go into the painting. There's no gasoline on it and paint on fire. Okay. Yeah, uh, painting always starts with you find this thing. And you don't need to activate it, I think. It's fine. Uh, we're gonna stop this video here before we start this uh, place. Yep. See you guys in the next part. Bye!